Are you worried about inflation or a potential economic collapse? Or maybe you're worried about the excessive money printing going on at the Federal Reserve. Or maybe you're just wondering, is gold the right investment for me? In this video, we're gonna talk about gold, why people buy it, and whether or not it's the right investment for you to make. Jeez, I look douchier than normal. Oh, hey guys, welcome to Tank Top Finance where we take money seriously and not much else. My name is Brett and this is the greatest finance channel on the internet. I'm here in the finance laboratory and today we're going to talk about gold. So is gold a good investment? Is it a store of value? Well, it depends who you ask. Let me start by saying that if gold gets you aroused and you came here to get your rocks off, I hate to be a beaver dam, but it's gonna be a pretty disappointing afternoon for you or other time of day. You hear that? That's not me motorboating. That's the sound of the money printer at the Federal Reserve as Papa Powell yells mush. Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve is literally printing more money than I can deadlift, which is, is really not that much, so maybe that's a bad example, but he's printing a lot of money. Typically, when you recklessly pump money into the economy, it causes inflation to spike. What's inflation? Inflation is when the purchasing power of your dollar goes down. So for $20 today, you might get a frog-eyed mask and a pair of Wolverine meat shredders, but five years from now, it might not even be enough to get you to jackhammer the like button. Did I get you? Did I get you? Don't be stingy. Push the like button. Anyways, concerns over inflation have all the gold stands from 2012 praying that the world ends so that they can get their money back and say, I told you so. I told you so. Buy gold. Gotta buy gold. Just like anything, Gold is worth what someone's willing to pay for it. It operates on a supply and demand scale, just like most other things. The price for an ounce of gold right now, about $2,000. Right now and over the course of the whole year, people are worried and they think gold is a good store of value, so they're putting their money into that. And therefore, the price goes up. Now, once Trump wins in November and they start handing out this bleach venom to stop this Trojan horse virus, all order will be restored and gold will go back to being a bad idea. There's really three claims that gold lovers make. It's a physical asset, it's a store of value against inflation, and it's a preservation of wealth if the dollar collapses. But again, its value is only determined by what people are willing to pay for it. Gold is a non-productive asset, like me. Gold has no utility. Gold doesn't do anything. All right, this... <laughs> This is getting weird. I'm made of muscle and steel and steel's a metal and gold is a precious metal. Am I gold? All right, all right, this is getting. Gold makes your wife look better and rap songs that aren't Eminem look cool, but I'm pretty and I'm cool and that doesn't make me valuable. The one thing that gold has done is that it's brainwashed people into thinking that it's useful, unlike me. <laughs> So when the market isn't doing well or people are worried about inflation or a government collapse, they buy gold, drive up the price of gold, and then other people go, oh, look at the price of gold. I, I, want, I want to get in on that deal. And so then they buy gold, drive up the price of gold, and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Listen, if the most successful government in the history of the world does collapse and the most stable currency collapses, there are going to be a lot of people bartering for your yellow rocks we're gonna have bigger problems. Now I'll admit, I frame the question a little bit differently than a gold frat daddy would. They typically don't think about gold as used as an investment. It's more hedge against inflation and a preservation of wealth. The good news is, if you don't have any money, you don't have to preserve it because you don't have any. Gold is used as jewelry about half the time and the other half it's a combination of investment, reserve currency, and a few technology components. The price for gold fluctuates up and down based on that demand. Now again to be fair there may be scenarios where for one or two years gold outperforms the market and astute investors take advantage of that. But the people who are constantly telling you to buy gold aren't astute investors. They're people who lost money 20 years ago in gold and they're trying to get it back. They've been riding that gold locomotive for 20 years and they're waiting to get their money back. I've noticed a pattern. Every time the market goes down, all the gold people go, I told you so, I told you so. And then when the market goes up, they say, oh, you just wait for the next downturn. You just wait for the next downturn. Downturn? 
the one that we have one or two times per decade every decade for the last hundred years. Okay, wizard. A broken clock's right twice a day. Every blind squirrel gets an acorn once in a while. Ugly guys with good personalities eventually get someone to like them. I think. Is that... Good luck. Don't ask me for sources. If I took $1,000 in 2012 and I put it in the S&P 500, I'd have $2,700 today. If in 2012 I took that same $1,000 and put it in gold, I'd have $1,200 today. That means the market can have a 55% contraction greater than the Great Recession in 2008, and I still come out ahead of where gold would have me. It's not an investment. It's not a store of value. At best, it's insurance. And if you want to buy gold for insurance, keep it at less than 5% of your net worth. If gold is so valuable, why does the price fluctuate up and down so much? Buying gold is like day trading in the stock market. You're buying it, hoping that it'll go up, only to end up in a field somewhere, sitting in the middle seat of your Ford Ranger, wondering what the heck just happened. Now look at this chart. In 2011, gold was worth $1,816 per ounce. In July of 2020, gold was worth $1,816 per ounce. That's not a good investment. That's not a good store of value. That's not beating inflation. All gold does is cost you money. Now, just in case my opinion on gold wasn't clear at this point, let's look at some numbers. Gold averages a 1% return over the last 100 years. I can get a better return slinging dead batteries in a Wendy's parking lot. Why keep your money tied up in something that only pays off when the world ends? Gold is a commodity. Don't tie your money up in commodities unless you're viewing it and can afford to treat it like it's a luxury. If you want to have $20,000 worth of baseball cards, I don't care. If you want to have a $50,000 coin collection, I don't care, as long as you can afford it. When I'm worth $100 million, I'm probably going to have $500,000 in gold. Why? Because at $100 million, I can afford the expensive apocalypse insurance that gold is. Apocalypse insurance is literally the only legitimate justification for buying gold. And as I said before, it's really, really expensive insurance. But there's this narrative that this is what you need to do to protect yourself, and it's crap. It's brainwashing good, hardworking people into tying up their money in something that's literally boat anchoring them from achieving financial freedom. It's not the year 500 anymore. We've got the internet and computers and Nicolas Cage. If you're really worried about Supreme Leader Trump running the country into the ground, buy a piece of land, use it to harvest food. Buy real estate that you can live in where you can rent it out in the apocalypse in exchange for those yellow rocks. Invest in nunchucks, do something useful. Gold just sits there like a trophy husband, like me. The only precious metal I'm buying is lead. Warmest regards, me.